Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Welcome to the first class of BAA 3.12, the engineering drawing. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations to all new students. Thank you very much for joining us in the Department of Civil Engineering. I'm wishing you all the best for your study in UG. Okay, here, is, here is the outcome of this subject. By the end of this semester, all of you should be able to, first is you must be able to read and then the, to understand and then to sketch the engineering drawing. And by the end of the semester, you should be able to draw proper engineering drawing by using the AutoCAD program. As a civil engineer, we have to deal with at least five types of drawing in construction industry, which is the surveyor drawing, the planner drawing, architect drawing, engineer's drawing, and the shop drawing. This is the example of surveyor drawing. It shows you the information of land or site for preliminary planning, such as the number of lot we will show you the number of lot and then we will show you the the bearing the reduced level and then the the main access road to your site or to your land then the planner drawing will present the initial or the preliminary concept of development or oh, development okay such as the position of the buildings okay this is the position of the buildings the position of road the position of bridge the position of parks and so on so it will give you general view of overall development planning then the architectural drawing is a drawing is a technical drawing of buildings that falls within the definition of architecture usually it gives information about the the concept of the building and then it will give you the information about the dimension Okay, here is the dimension from grid line to grid line. And there it shows you the shape of the building. Okay. If it gives you the, the floor area usage. And then it will tell you the materials to be used. And the, the finishing, what type of finishing that the architect wants for the building. Next, the engineer's drawing can be, can be divided into several parts, which is the, the civil, the structure, the mechanical, and the electrical. It gives the details on engineering aspect. As an example, the piling layout here, the piling layout here, give you the information about the about the grid line. We have A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five. This is the grid line, the number and the alphabet. And then it will give you information about the position of the column. This is the column. You can see. And the for uh, position of the pile cap and the type of pile cap, okay, either type three. This is uh, well, let's say this is P three for pile cap three. P four means pile cap four pile cap that has four number of piling, okay. And then it will give you the number of pile foundation, okay. Let's say this is P three as I mentioned before. It contain one, two, and three piles. 
if you have two this one should be p2 so one and two number of five this is four we contain four number of five and also the the working load it should contain the working load on every column okay and uh, for the ground beam layout it will show you the position of the beam and also its dimension it's okay we will go more detail about uh, this part in next video finally the shop drawing will be very very useful for the fabrication purpose it shows the detail to fabricate specific structural elements such as the steel roof trusses and also the other IBS component uh, let's say we have a IBS component of beam and column we need the shop drawing for the fabricator as an example to fabricate the steel trusses we need to provide the detailed drawing on the okay type of steel and then we need the information about the the shape what is the shape of steel either c channel or uh, circular hollow section and so on okay and then uh, we also need information about the size the drawing shall pro, uh, show you the size and then the length of the every member okay length of every member what is the length of uh, top cord bottom cord and so on we also must provide the detailed drawing for the for the connection okay let's say here how to connect all the members here what is the thickness of the steel plate here and what is the the type of board and the number of board and then the spacing of both spacing of both connection okay there are a lot of drawings in construction process it will start with the conceptual drawings by the architect and planner okay it will show you the concept of the drawing the concept of the development the concept of the building the park and so on then it will, uh, the, the architect and the planner will present to the client or the owner of the development and they will do a lot of revision until they agree to the final one and then the consultant team which is the architect cns consultant ma consultant will provide a submission drawing for local authority in order to get the, the approval approval for development they will also uh, submit the surveyor drawing which contain uh, the uh, lot number of the land to be developed and then uh, they will come out with the tender drawing for tender process in order to select the main contractor for the project before kick off of the, of, the, uh, of the construction so they will come out for the for the final drawing of construction however there will be a lot of amendments in during the construction depend on the changes of the maybe structural elements changes of finishing and so on and finally after the construction finish they will come out with the s bit drawing which is provided based on the final construction on site okay final situation or final construction on site Okay, the engineering drawing as i mentioned before it will provide the 
uh, layout of structural system, we name it as the key plan. As I show you the layout of the piling and okay, the piling and the uh, and the ground beam, and then the level of structural elements. The label, as I mentioned before, also the P4, the P3. Okay, and then they they say for ground beam GB, GB1, GB2, GB3, and so on. And then the size of structural elements. It will also uh, presents you the detail of steel reinforcement as well as providing the nodes for constructions. Okay. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much. See you in next class. Bye-bye.